Hello everyone, Monkle Zunky here, and this is my guide for farming. So, for starting out farming, there's a couple of things that you can do. I would recommend planting a few potatoes in the allotment patches. I will be showing where the allotment patches are later on in this video when I show you guys how to do herb runs. But what you can do is just plant potato seeds and then come back about half an hour later and check them. And if you do that to all the allotment patches, that can get you to about level 4 or so farming. And then after that, do the A Fairy Tale Part 1 quest. You don't need any farming levels to do this, but the boss at the end of the quest, um, how much damage you do to him depends on your farming level. And if you only have w level 1 farming, it's going to be pretty hard to kill him just because you'll hit so lowly on him. But once you complete that quest, that will get you 3,500 farming XP. And if you were level 1 farming, that will get you to level 17 farming right off the bat. So I'm going to explain how to make tree saplings really quickly because it can be a little tricky if you don't know anything about it. What you need is tree seeds. You can buy these off of the Grand Exchange. So acorn, willow seed, maple seed, any tree seeds at all, or fruit tree seeds as well. And you need a plant pot that's full of soil. Um, they're both called plant pot, but there's one that has dirt in it, then one that doesn't. And you want to get the one that has dirt in it and also a watering can and I'll show you guys exactly what to do with these in just a second and also paying for trees um, later on in the video when I talk about which trees to plant I'll talk about which ones to pay for as well but for the most part you don't need to pay for trees because if you just use super compost on a tree plat patch and then plant the tree the tree will more often than not not die anyway so it's not a big deal so this is just a really quick demo on how to make uh, seedlings for trees just water them. There's a water fountain in GE if you have a regular watering can, which is really handy, and they grow in a few seconds. So for your lower level trees, after you complete the Fairy Tale Part 1 quest, um, you want to plant five oak trees per run. So the seed for those is acorns. It's not actually called an oak tree seed. And it won't take very many runs to get to level 30 farming, probably only about three or four farming runs, so it won't take long at all. And I believe oak trees take uh, two hours to grow, so you can even do that in one day if you're online for quite a while. And then from level 30 to 42 farming, you want to plant five willow trees per run. And these give about double the XP of oak trees, so again, it will not take very long to get to 42 farming at all. And then from level 42 to 60 farming, plant five willow trees and six curry trees per run. But if you haven't completed the quest mornings in part one, only plant five curry trees because you need the uh, tiny elf crystal to teleport to one of the farming patches and if you haven't completed mornings in part one you won't have that crystal yet and it's going to be really hard to get to the farming patch so for higher level trees this is how I recommend to get to 99 it's not the fastest way to get to 99 but you will save tons and tons of money training this way other than the alternative method that I'll show in a bit which is a lot more expensive but what you want to do is plant five yew trees, six papaya trees, and one calquat tree per run once you get to level 72. So the payments, you want to super compost the yew trees. They only die about one out of every eight times. And also the payment for a yew tree costs as much as a yew seed, so it's really not worth paying for them. And then ten pineapples per papaya tree, you just pay the farmer the ten pineapples. And pineapples are very cheap, so that's not a big deal and also pay eight poison ivy berries per calquat tree and you definitely want to be planting calquat trees because they give a lot of xp and they're also not very expensive seeds to buy either so for a full run planting five yews, six papayas and one calquat you'll get eighty six thousand six hundred and eighty three farming xp so this is how i personally do my tree runs i would recommend just to copy my inventory and route exactly if you don't have a witch doctor mask, do remember to bring a Juju Teleport Spirit Bag in your inventory. So you start out in Verok and check the tree there that's just to the east of the castle. And then next is Lumbridge. And they did move the Lumbridge farming patch, so now it's by the river instead of behind the castle. So just keep that in mind. And next, use the Falador Lodestone and um, go to the tree that's in the Falador Park and clear that one as well. And then it's back to the Falador Lodestone and go into the one in Taverly. I prefer to use the Falador Lodestone instead of the Taverly Lodestone. I just feel like it's a bit faster. And check the health of the tree there. And then use your dueling ring to teleport to mobilizing armies and use the spirit tree to go to the tree gnome stronghold. 
and use the tree there and after that bank all your plant all your items that you want or you can just drop your plant pocket plot plant pots and buckets I personally like to collect them just because it's an OCD thing um, and after that use the spirit tree to go to the tree gnome village of course and uh, check the papaya tree there I'd also recommend to bring a giant end pouch because it helps collect more papayas and papayas are worth a lot of money right now so it's really helpful to collect extra so bring a giant end if you have the summoning level for it and then next you go to Catherby Lodestone and then I would use my chipped tab to go to Brimhaven and check that tree um, and then luckily the Karamja Lodestone is pretty close to the Calqua tree patch so that's helpful and then the final one is in Letya, the elf place. So this is the more expensive method. It can cost up to three times more to do this method than the previous one that I showed. It really depends on the GE prices because, of course, prices of seeds and payments for the trees change all the time. But what you can do from 75 to 99 farming is plant five magic trees, six palm trees, and one calquat tree per run. And the payment for this is 25 coconuts per magic tree, which is very expensive, but since magic seeds cost so much, you really don't want them dying. 15 papayas per palm tree, which is also quite expensive, and 8 poison ivy berries per calquat tree. And the reward for this will be 145,274 farming XP. So even though it's quite fast, I would recommend to do the earlier method because it's just so much cheaper, and farming is going to take a long time either way. So if you don't mind doing the tree runs every day, just stick with the ewes and papayas. At 92 farming, herb runs can become a viable method of trading. You can plant 5 fell stock seeds per run if you have completed my arms at Big Adventure and have access to the Trollheim patch as well. And you can get around 10,000 farming XP per run if you do this. And you can do it of course every 75 minutes, so this can be definitely a viable method of training. And if you're online for quite a bit, you can get around 50,000 farming XP per day. I personally planted a lot of fell stocks getting to 99 farming and it saved me a lot of money um, instead of planting tree seeds doing this. You can also make money planting herbs. Currently Aventos are the best herb to farm from profit whether you have juju potions or not. But in the description I'm going to link ha um, I'm going to leave a link to a RuneScape wiki page that shows you all the prices of the herbs and which are best to plant for profit whether you have juju potions or not and all that good stuff. So this is what I like to do for the herb runs. Just remember to bring your green fingers aura and your, ju your juju farming potions if you have them. Or if you are planting fell stocks for the XP, don't bring juju farming potions because they're not worth very much and the farming potions don't give any extra farming XP, so there's no point. Um, but I was planting aventos here. I just had dwarf weeds planted from a long time ago because I haven't done a herb run in a long time. Um, but aventos, as I said, are the best um, herb for profit at the moment, so I'd recommend planting those because you can make a fair amount of money um, along the way. And then, of course, um, y if you don't have an arty cloak, you can just use the arty lodestone. It's pretty close as well to the farming patch, so that's not really that big of a deal. And uh, this is just my personal route for going to all the herb patches. You can do them in any order you like. It doesn't really matter as long as you do the troll stronghold one first, um, but the other ones don't really matter at all. And that's about it. Pretty good money. Here are some of the more helpful items. There's a lot of items that can help farming uh, for, to varying degrees, but I just have a few of the most useful ones here. Magic Secateurs, uh, you get these from the Fairy Tale Part 1 quest, which I would highly recommend doing anyway, and they give 10% bonus herbs while you're wearing them. The Juju Farming Potions have a 33% chance of harvesting double herbs. You do not get double XP, just herbs, so it doesn't help for fell stocks, but it does help if you're planting herbs to make money. And the Green Fingers Aura, it not only keeps your herbs alive while it's active, it lasts for 20 minutes and herbs cannot get diseased while it lasts. It also has a percent chance of giving double herbs just like the Juju Farming Potions. How high that percent chance is depends on what tier your aura is. And of course, the last method that I really have to mention is Wilderness Warbands training. You can do up to three warband camps a day and if you get lucky you can get up to three. 300k or so farming XP per day once you are in the 90s in farming level and it doesn't take very long to do you're going to have to find an FC to do warbands on your own I'm not going to go too much into them just letting you guys know that it is very very good farming XP if you do this effectively and get lucky with your farming tents and such